What's going on guys? So not too long ago, iOS 26.1 was officially released. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and cover all the things that was newly added for watchOS 26.1. Now the device we are featuring in here is the Ultra 3, but regardless what Apple Watch model you have, as long as your watch can support watchOS 26 in general, you will also have this ability to update to this version. So unfortunately, without wasting your time, Nothing really changed, nothing really got added. The translation app is still limited to the previously added translation supports because we don't have Swiss support, nor do we have the other version of Portuguese. Which is very strange because AirPods receive a lot of additional languages, but on the Apple Watch side of things, even the iPhone itself doesn't get anything. In fact, the only thing that this version for watchOS 26 delivered for 26.1 was the fact that you can now customize your workouts on your iPhone. You see, by launching the fitness app on top right above here, before we only had this icon right here where you could switch between other Bluetooth devices that support heart rate tracking, like the AirPods as an example, or even some Beats. But now that you have this little note icon with a pencil, if you could tap right here, you can now select many different workouts that the Apple Watch can do. And once you select one, you could customize the duration, the calorie goal, and the effort as well. Before we didn't have this ability, we only had this ability to do it on the Apple Watch. Now you can actually customize those workouts in detail, not just on the Apple Watch itself, which I personally prefer because creating workouts in this screen is kind of uh, tedious, I guess. It's like really small, very limited on information and stuff like that. But in actuality, that's really the new noticeable change here. We just got a new ability to create our workouts if you want to start it from your Apple Watch because everything else remained the same. We don't even have the liquid glass option to turn on or disabled on the Apple Watch. I think that would be kind of cool. But aside from security improvements, connectivity improvements, that's basically it. I have noticed my control center is a little bit smoother, but it really wasn't a complaint at all whatsoever. Don't ask. But yeah, that's uh, everything new that was added on watchOS 26.1. No new watch faces. Usually Apple released that during like certain like events like Black History Month or Pride Month. When we really see like a new Apple Watch watch face get added, it's always on the release on the next generation of Apple Watches. So next year is when we're going to see new Apple Watches get added. But there has been reports some users have been getting better battery life thanks to this latest update so there's that if your apple watch ultra one was really achieving its advertised battery life this update should help but that's all there is to it if you enjoy these quick update videos be sure to take some time and just leave this video a like those really do help with the channel as that keeps the channel being powered by you guys the viewers which is why you only see brands for like a sponsorship segment allowing this video to be like eight minutes long when the information is really just one or two minutes long no need to stretch it out that long but if you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see some hidden features and some cool tips and tricks that the Apple Watch can do that not a lot of people know about, not even Apple advertise. I highly recommend checking out this video over there where I go through the nitty gritty stuff that a lot of people always overlook. Check out that video over there. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching.